Hey guys, I am Ian K, and um, in this video, I'm going to do, uh, I guess, another follow-up on my Brockney and Geomancer uh, Taragi team composition with uh, more, I guess, uh, variations of this comp. Um, so I've gotten a lot of, I guess, comments and replies for, again, uh, substitution champions, who can you use in place of uh, this and that, and I have released a budget version of this video where you can use epics to replace uh, some of the harder to obtain champions. But okay, so what if you don't want to use that epics and you have like some better options uh, than those ep uh, epics? You don't want to build a budget version. So this is what this video is. So you have stronger options uh, that you can use, and it will perform just uh, not as well, but close to how the original team performs. So one of the champions that I've uh, got asked a lot is, can you put a counter attack in this team? And the answer is yes. I have tested both Skullcrusher as well as Valkyrie. And this is what I'm going to show right now is uh, mainly Valkyrie in this team. Valkyrie is good because she offers the shield as well as the counter attack. And her shield obviously benefits a lot because of Brogni. So Skullcrusher does not perform as well in this team since he only offers the ally protection and counter attack, uh, not the shield. He does offer the uh, counter attack, so your damage uh, will improve a little. But I found that Skullcrusher does not survive long enough into the fight. So you can have him in uh, Lifesteal or stalwart i personally prefer stalwart because it allows him to survive much longer if you have him in lifesteal i found that he dies pretty much on turn 50 plus or so so he doesn't survive as long so i recommend using stalwart on him and have a healer like riho in the team if you want to use skull crusher if you don't have a healer in your team i don't think skull crusher will work because he cannot heal himself after taking all that ally protection damage not like taragi who can heal himself all right uh now uh valkyrie is a great option so because she offers the shield and you naturally build her with extremely high defense so she is able to survive long in the fight and i also have her in stalwart but i'll get into the gear later on so just to show you so this is the team i'm talking about the, i have the same core team brogni geomancer taragi riho but i'm replacing the champion that i used to have here tyrant with valkyrie so uh, once again, this uh, is, test is done on Spirit Affinity, which is the best affinity for this comp, mainly because uh, Geomancer will be the stun target. And I, at the end of this video, I'll also showcase this team performed on a different affinity and explain why this team doesn't work as well on other affinities. So let me just uh, show the run quickly. So this, this team pretty much performs exactly the same. It's just we're just replacing um, Valkyrie with uh, Tyrant. So now this team has counter attack. And to be honest, uh, I guess we'll see later in this run, counter attack is not as effective as having double ally protection. The, the comp, this comp doesn't last as long as the double ally protection comp. So I'll just uh, fast forward the run quickly and just uh, show you uh, maybe just a little bit of the run, and then we'll get. Uh, I'll get back right at the end of the run.
Okay, so we are in almost turn 84, turn 85 now, and it looks like the team is almost dying. So as you can see, the shield alone, yep, the shield alone is not enough to keep everyone alive. I think that the ally protection is much better at keeping everyone alive because it just directly removes the damage by half. And the shield is, I guess, not as strong as uh, reducing the damage by half. So every uh, Riho, Brockney dies um, much faster than the previous team that lasts up to turn 120 plus. Yeah, so this run is going to end soon. But as you can see, we still hit about 100 million plus damage. So I guess what you can notice is that this team, since we have counterattack, it does more uh, damage per turn. Like the previous team, we survive up to turn... 120, 127, and we did 127 damage, so it's 1 million per turn. Now we are at turn 89, and we did 108 damage, so this team with the counterattack does a bit more damage. So we can see we have Geomancer, Brockney, Valkyrie, Taragi, Riho, their damage breakdown, and you'll notice that Brockney does quite uh, significantly more damage because of Valkyrie's shield. So in the previous comp, Brockney did about 31 million damage as well in 120 plus turns, but now he's doing 31 damage in um, like 89, 90 turns because of the shield. All right. So I'll go over the champions that I have, um, just showing their gear again. So Riho, he's, she's in stalwart with 3.5k defense. So uh, this team, obviously since I removed Tyrant, I don't have the increased defense anymore in the team. So I, I didn't really change her gear. I didn't up, update her build. If possible, I probably would have, I mean, if I had the silver or resources, I would uh, change her build to give her like 4.2k defense since we are losing the dec uh, increased defense. So these are her stats. I'll just go over the gear quickly. Okay. And I guess an important thing to note is the speeds here. So as I'm using Valkyrie right now, Valkyrie has her like her annoying passive, which uh, she gains turn meter whenever the clan boss receives the buff, and this happens in Affinity. The speed tuning is important. So Valkyrie, I have her at 171 speed. So all the other champions need to be between 187 and 189. So Riho is at 189. Let's see. Geomancer, 189. Taragi, 188. Uh, Riho, Geomancer, Taragi. Who was the other champion? Valkyrie and uh, Brockney. So Brockney, so Brockney can still remain at his speed below Valkyrie. So he has he has to be 170 because he has to increase Valkyrie's shield. So she, Valkyrie has to use her counter attack first, and Brockney uses his increase increasing the shield size. So she has he has to be below Valkyrie. So he's at 170, Valkyrie at 171. Everyone else between 187 to 189. And I have them at 188 to 189. All right, so I'll go back to showing the gear. Brogni, I guess you saw the gear already. So he's in Savage, uh, 3.6k defense. Once again, I don't have the increased defense now. I probably could update his defense higher, but then I will lose out on his attack and crit damage. And he needs to have a high attack as well to deal damage to increase the shield. But these are his stats. I'll just go over the gear quickly. Next is Valkyrie. Yep, so Valkyrie is in Stalwart. Her stats, um, 8k defense, 40k HP, 171 speed. The crit and crit rate doesn't really matter at all. Everything else doesn't matter. So she's in Stalwart. I'll go over the gear quickly. All right. Uh, Masteries is the standard clan boss Masteries, no different here. The same with everyone, so Riho's Mastery is the standard clan boss Mastery. 
Geomancer. Uh, sorry, Brogni is the same, but he has a uh, Giant Slayer. And then Geomancer. Yeah, same mastery with Giant Slayer. And his skills, he's in again same same set, lifesteal. This is pretty much the same gear, I just improved his speed to 189. So Then finally we have Toragi. So Toragi has 4.2k defense, so I improved his defense uh, higher and I've removed him from Guardian set. So I might consider switching him back to Guardian because in this team, as we saw in the video, he was not the first to die. The first to die was the uh, Riho and Brogni, so I might switch him back to Guardian gear. But I have him as stalwart for that run. So he had 70k HP, 4.2k defense, 188 speed, and enough accuracy. All the other stats, stats doesn't matter. Again, again, same Warmaster, offense, defense, three. All right. So I have also another. I made another video. If you don't have a Riho, so Riho, I understand, is a void legendary and it's quite hard to obtain. And I think I, I'm guessing most of you who watch this probably don't have a Riho. So I have tried a different champion in Riho's place, and the different champion that I tested actually works better than Riho, surprisingly. So if you don't have a Riho, this epic champion actually works better than Riho. And the epic champion I'm talking about is Venomage. I've showcased in a video before. Um, oh, it looks like I removed his gear. Uh, so he's not geared right now. I think I, I think his gear was with Riho. Let me see if I can gear him to the gear that I had before. Yep, this is the exact same gear that I had uh, before uh, when I didn't have, uh, so when I swapped him with Riho. So this is the gear I had. So he has the same speed that I mentioned before, 1 in 8 speed. So 3.3k defense, 3.7k uh, defense, 3.3k attack, sorry, crit, crit damage, and enough accuracy. So I'll just go over his gear besides the one that I'm equipping right now. So he is in stalwart set, so the four pieces here. So this is his other pieces. Right, the same Warmaster Masteries. So what's great about Venomage is that he offers what Riho offers, which is the decreased attack and decreased defense in a skill. Decreased attack, decreased defense. He also places poison. The heal reduction doesn't matter for the debuff itself, but he has a passive that reduces the damage by 15%. So this is what Tyrant offers previously, but now that we bring Venomage in, this um, damage reduction comes back into the team. So Tyrant only reduces by 10%, but Venomage reduces it by 15%, so it's a little better. Then his A1 doesn't really matter. All right, so I'll so this is the champion that I I, I told you that is better than Riho in terms of damage, and I'll I also have a run of this uh, this, so I'll showcase this run. So this right here, so it's the exact same team, same setup, except with Venomage to replace Riho. So once again, I'm just going through the same setup for this comp. Mm, yep, it's just the exact same setup, except that uh, we have Venomage here, and I'll just um, fast forward the run till the end just to quickly go over just to see how the team performs quickly, and then I'll come back when the run is over. Okay, so now we are at turn 88. So we are at about the same turn as the previous run. The previous run rusted at turn 89 where we died. This time, so same thing. So it still ended at turn. 189. 
or at least no, it didn't end yet. So Brogni died. So the team will probably last a couple more rounds before it fully dies. Alright, there you have it. So the run uh, lasted about the same amount of turns, but the main difference is that um, Venomage in this team actually is able to do more damage because of his poisons. So he did 20 million damage compared to um, Riho who only did, I think, 12 million damage. Alright, so here's the comparison. So this is the comparison between the two comps we have, you can see. Geomancer did about the same damage, 39 million, 39 million. Brock needed 30 million, 31 million, so they are pretty much the same. Valkyrie did 9 million, 8.7, again about the same. Taragi did 15, uh, 15, so all four of them did about the same. The main difference is between Riho and Venomage. Venomage did 20 million damage, Riho doing only 13. So Venomage actually performs better than Riho compared to the the main comp we have here that did 127 million. So this is the previous comp where we replace Tyrant with Valkyrie. So as you can see, this comp obviously lasted much longer. So double ally protection actually is better in terms of survivability, but Tyrant also gives the increased defense. So this team lasted longer, but you can see Brockney did 35 million in this comp, whereas in this other comp, he did about 30 million, but their comp lasted like maybe 30 turns longer. So Brock needed a lot more damage because of the shield Valkyrie brings, as well as the counter attack. So it's relatively close in damage, actually. So it's much higher damage per turn compared to the longer lasting team. But again, they are all successful, all able to break 100 million without uh, 2 for 1, 1 for 1, but we are bringing in counter attack now. So if you have a counter attack in Valkyrie, she is a good option. Alright, and I'm gonna, I guess, showcase a different run now, explaining, I guess, a popular question that we I have as well with regards to Affinity. So this comp, all the showcases that I'm showing is on Spirit Affinity, which is the best Affinity for this comp because Geomancer is the stun target. And Geomancer is built specifically to have, to be the stun target. All the other champions are not built to be the stun target. So on Affinity, on other Affinities, when Geomancer is not targeted, the comp will not perform as well, but it still works. It just doesn't perform as well. So let me just show you an example here. So in this uh, team right here, it's the exact same team, but it's Magic Affinity. So right now, Geomancer will not be the stun target. The stun target will be Valkyrie since she's weak Affinity. So I'll just go over just to show what happens during this turn. So Valkyrie gets stunned right there. So here, let me show you. Okay. So what happens here is that, as you can see, before the stun, um, Geomancer is built to be the stun because he has the ally protection during the stun. So whenever the clan boss stun, if Geomancer is a stun target, he has ally protection. But Valkyrie does not have the um, ally protection, so she will take the full damage from the stun. Same with Turagi, since he's the ally protector. Same with Brogni, since uh, he's going last, so he doesn't have the ally protection. Riho has the, the ally protection, but she will never be the stun target. Because on Spirit, the Spirit clan boss will target uh, Geomancer since he's weak affinity on Magic. The clan boss will always target Valkyrie because she's weak affinity. And on Force, the clan boss will always target either Brockney or Toragi, whoever is lower, so because they are weak affinity. So all of them, all the other champions, do not have ally protection, so they will take the full damage. So when they take the full damage, they will die probably like 20 turns, 20 30 turns earlier, which is why this comp does not work as well on affinity. This is, this is the main reason. It's the stun. Not because of the stun, but because of the damage from the stun. So 
the, but the team still works fine. So the team lasts enough, long enough. Like you can see, it lasts up to 40, 50 turns. Damage is still pretty much the same damage. The main difference is that the stun target will be taking the full damage, and when the stun target dies, that is when the comp dies. So this comp specifically lasted up to, let's see, it's approaching one key. So turn 60, we are approaching the one key right here. I think Valkyrie should be dying soon. Right there, so she took the full stun damage, that's why she died. So she died right there, turn 60. I think we might be able to reach the one key, maybe. Yep, we reached hit the one key. So on blue affinity, this comp is still able to one key. Um, pretty close, but still uh, convincingly one key. Still, everyone is still alive. The worst affinity is force. So one reason, it's the main reason is because obviously they're targeting either Brockney or Turagi. The second reason is because of the weak hits. So Brockney needs to obviously crit to to improve the shield by a lot, right? So if he weak hit, he does very little damage. And then he will only improve the shield by a little bit. So that is the main thing. So the weak hits. Um, is what causes the this affinity to be this comp to be worse on force. So yeah, this is how it performs on magic. Still one key uh, on force. It probably won't one key, but it still uh, will be convincingly a two key at the minimum. All right. So this is um, I guess a, a different variation of this team using Valkyrie as a counter attack to replace Tyrant and. Venomage as a pretty really good option to replace Riho. It performs much better than Riho in terms of damage. Yeah, so my next project to test this comp is with um, Euros Soul Cage. I want to test him out, but unfortunately I don't have the books to book him yet, so I need to be able to fully book him before I test him, as well as trying to incorporate Ninja. I am trying to incorporate Ninja into this team. So I'm still figuring out the speed tunes. Uh, once I figure it out, I'll be able to showcase uh, both Eurust and Ninja together in this, or yeah, together in this team to see how they perform. All right. So feel free to, once again, feel free to uh, comment down below. I'll answer all the questions that I can. And uh, yeah, thanks again. Once again, thanks for your support. Yep. Goodbye.